Hello everyone, this is Jason from Force Hammer Gaming, and we're continuing our playthrough of the Witcher 3 Hearts of Stone expansion, so let's get going. Okay, so we are going to... Uh, let's see. Quests. Yep, so we are going to go on the next main quest for the Hearts of Stone expansion. Purpose of your visit? Um. Just curious. Redanian army regulars, right? Lance Corporal Vatslav reporting. And this bloke's my subordinate, Private Kleiner. Careful you don't piss yourself out of excitement. You say something, soldier. Not a thing. Shouldn't you be somewhere? There's a war on, you know. We was transferred here. All official. Written order 76 CWX. Mission, guard the auction house. Priority, high top, in fact. Well, Sodi fella knows his way about the court. Helps the high ranking sell their war booty. <laughs> Gets protection in return. Private Kleiner, that's confidential military information. Any of the owners home? Meaning the one and sole owner, the esteemed host Besodi. Aye, he is. Need to talk to him. Order 76 CWX is clear. Auctions only open to folk with invitations. Writ out in their names, plain and simple. Uh, sure we can work something out. Gonna let that hold you back? Come on. I'm afraid you're out of luck. Order 76 CWX also held that Lance Corporal Vatslav stick a broomstick up his ass. Kleiner, need I remind you of the penalty for insulting a superior? Who have we here? Geralt, the Witcher of Rivia. Vimy Vivaldi, the banker from... Actually, where are you from? Matters little, mate. Gold knows no boundaries. What's all the fash, Corporal Batslav? Are you squabbling with my pal Geralt? Master Vivaldi, sir, your esteemed associate, he weren't invited to the auction, and I've... But I plow and have been, and he's coming with me. In you go, Geralt. Nice. But... My orders? Fuck your orders! Need I take this up with the sergeant? Ha! A thought not. No! Stand to attention! And shut your giggy! Oh, the lads will be rolling back at the barracks. Suck it! Now march! Round you go! One, two, one, two! I have to give up my weapons. Good night. Always had a mind to see into old pals and clients. Business with you is a pure pleasure, Vimy. The dear departed wifey claimed the same. Ah ha! Folk are assembling. Auction's about to start. Time we went upstairs. Wonder if I can buy some good armor or weapons. What did folk come to bid on? Any idea? All kinds of valuables. Rare weaponry, exotica. But I've got my eye on a selection of canvases by the master portraitist of the Maribor School. Van de Nuu, Longendijk. Well, well. Never knew you to be a connoisseur. Of course I'm not. It's all muck and rubbish to me. Point of fact, I'll just wrap them in paper and lock them in the vault. Why in the world do... What do you mean, why, Geralt? I've got to diversify my investments, didn't I? Okay. I could have sworn the Borsodi's <laughs> auction house was in Novigrad. It was, but they moved it. You see, Radovid offered Horst a preferential tax rate. Zero percent. Huh. Pretty much unbeatable. Aye. And I've never seen a purer example of the benevolent state. Well, I mean, you could go negative percentage, maybe. 
Actually, I'm really just here to talk to Horst Borsodi. Oh, might be more of a problem than you'd expect. Because? An awful hermit, that one. Not a wee bit like his da, Melitale keep his soul. But Horst is like to show his head during the auction. I'll introduce you then. Be mighty indebted to you. Think nothing of it. Only if I collect on loans and promissory notes. <laughs> All right, up we go. Egg, white gold, and mother of pearl with topaz insects. Geralt, you thought of buying real estate. Could get you attractive terms on a mortgage. No such thing as attractive loan terms, Vimy. What about in Kaviri, Mark? Hmm. Auction won't start for a time yet, it seems. Vimy. This is a banquet. Aye? And? I detest banquets. Vacuous conversation, food portions fit for a mouse, drinks that taste like piss. Ah, it won't all be bad. Let me introduce you to some of my most interesting associates. Old hand there is Countess Mignol. Wager you'll have plenty to blather about with her. <laughs> Prick in the corners, Elbert. New coin, that one. Came into a right fortune playing quiet. Ah, there's Yaramir, art dealer. A purer snob I've never known. But he knows paintings like no other. So, ready to chat someone up? It's not fitting for us to stand here like knobs. <sighs> okay. Whoa, oh, smell it, Geralt. That's the center coin. What brings you to me? Albert, it's been years. Allow me to introduce you. Geralt of Rivia. Enchanted. Pleasure's all mine. How's it? Got your eye on any sparkly bits today? Not really. I buy what strikes me fancy. I need something right sumptuous for me walls just now. Nilfgaard. I get it right? Excuse me? Your Gwent deck. It's Nilfgaard, innit? Come on, admit it. Seen right through me. Ha! I knowed it. You don't look like one who easily agrees to a draw. You ought to know, Helbert. Geralt here's a positively superb player. Superb. Hmm. We got a minute before the auction starts, so nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Maybe around. Sure. Why not? Uh. Let's just go fifty. <laughs> Suppose it's not whether you win or lose. Sure, I'm game. Brilliant. I'll lay my cards out. Naturally. Uh, Geralt, might you have a wee word? What is it? Well, mate, since I brought yous together, I do believe I'm owed a share of your winnings, if there are any. Ten percent. I find this fee of sorts again. Pretty clear now why you wanted us to meet. One cardinal bit I've learnt in my tree, friend. Coin that a stink. So, what'll it be? Um, sure, why not? Well, you did help with the guards at the door. All right. Ten percent of any winnings is yours. Any chance for fifteen? Don't push it, Vimy. All right. Game on. All right, guess I'll just stick with this. Redraw. Let's see what else. Okay. Start with this. I'll draw two cards. Uh, 
Oh, nice. Might keep that one. Let's her. Gonna go one more. I think that'll be it. All right, I'm gonna pass. Let him take this round. Okay, good. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna recall Dragon. My turn. Last. Boom. I win. Unbelievable. I don't buy it. You cheated. You must have for something. Hexed me or whatnot. Oh, I'd be careful with the gab, Hilbert. Before Geralt takes a mind to demanding satisfaction. <laughs> you give it to him, you damn midget. You bearded pinch fist. Oh, ho, ho, ho. interest will be a right bit higher when that bugger next comes round asking for a loan. Nice. Okay, let's talk to the next person. Greetings to the Honorable Countess. Madam, allow me to introduce my dear friend, Geralt of Rivia. Witcher of the School of the Wolf. Forgive me, but have we had the pleasure? No, but your guild is unmistakable. Your medallion. Take note, Geralt. Countess Mignol is an eminent collector of Vitaminaica. Vitamin... what now? All manner of objects related to the witcherly profession. Swords, gear, medallions. Got any to sell? Mind if I ask how the Countess became interested in us humble monster slayers? I've some pleasant associations. 
dating from my oh-so-distant youth. Didn't you say such things, Countess? You look right fetching to me. That's very kind, Master Vivaldi. But apart from my Vedomaniaca, I also own a number of mirrors. Your most prized piece? What would it be? An armor element. An antique. School of the Wolf. From 1234. Classic. Is it up for sale? I fear not. It's a memento. One of great sentimental value. But perhaps the Countess has got other Witcher curios she's willing to part with. Or acquire. Uh, perhaps she could trade. I'd charge 5%. A modest, uh, uh, transaction fee. Sure. Vimy, never seen anyone so good at laying their mitts on coin that clinked within earshot. But what the hell? See if we can't make a deal. Okay. Gives me a chance to sell some stuff. Okay. Uh, sell. Sell. Does not have enough coin. Ah. Alright. Alright. Let's see what we have to buy. Take all of that and then sell crap that I do not need. Uh, what else? Actually, maybe some swords. Nope. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, what else can I get rid of? That's they'll do seventy six. Does not have enough coin, no. I'll sell one here. Just want to maximize the amount of coin I can get. But it seems that's all she got. All right. Does the Countess have her eye on anything particular today? No, but Horst Borsodi insisted he would put up something that would be of interest. Did he happen to say what it was? No. Oh, you know what he's like. A walking enigma. On another topic, Master Geralt, I was wondering if you'd be willing to help a lady in need. Depends on the nature of the need. Oh, it's quite the trifle. I stepped out onto the balcony a moment ago. I dropped an earring while there. I couldn't find it. It must have fallen through the floorboards. Perhaps you, with your cat eyes... Sure. Not a problem. I'll go right away. I shall be much obliged. See you in a minute, Vimy. Okay, fine. Mm, some spilled wine, nothing else. Mm. There's no earring out here, is there? None. Maybe the Countess would care to explain what this is about, all jokes aside. Forgive me. I... God, this is so embarrassing. Do... Do you know Vesemir? He was a tinge shorter than you, wore a mustache. Do I know him? Man taught me everything I know. What? How is he, if you don't mind my asking? Don't mind at all. But before I answer, 
I also wouldn't mind knowing how you knew each other. Oh, I've told no one. Not ever. But I suppose I owe you an explanation. It was the winter of 1234. A beast prowled the streets of Oxenford. A fledder, I believe. A contract was issued, a notice posted, and a witcher appeared. Bezemir, of the School of the Wolf. He came through our estate, tracking the beast. Our eyes met, something sparked. I wrote him a message, asked my governess to deliver it. He visited, under the cover of night, night after night. On one such occasion, my father heard something. Vesemir had to flee. So quickly, he left behind his gambeson. Ah, the first piece. The start of your collection. Yes, but also the end of our love. Father had an arrest warrant issued, then quickly married me off. I was fortunate. My husband died young, leaving me a sizable fortune. And thus, I have lived on memories. <sighs> Afraid I have bad news. Oh? Please tell me, did he at least die like a witcher? No, he died like a hero. There is that. I thank you for tolerating a decrepit madwoman so elegantly. Please don't say that. I am old and I am wealthy. I may say what I please. And now... Be so kind and leave me to my thoughts. Well, that was nice and sad. Okay. Money. Duke Clivet declared bankruptcy. Well, that ring on his finger. Oh, shite. <laughs> Is it fat? Yaramir, uh, might we trouble ye a wee spare? Mm -hmm. Greetings, Vivaldi. Who's this? Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. I thought you might have a blather with us. About the paintings on the block today. Hmm? Ah, a boot. Sniffing for a quick turnaround as usual, are we? Pot calling the kettle black, I'd say. Do a lively trade in canvases yourself, my friend. True. Yet first they delight my eyes. Whereas you treat them as mere promissory notes. The only arts that interest you are those culinary. What about you, Witcher? Do you know anything about paintings? Uh, a bit. Realize this might be hard to believe, given my crude looking mug. But yeah, I know a thing or two. Truly? We ought to see what. Do you know our friend Vivaldi is in possession of five canvases by Van der Noob? Yet he cannot distinguish them from landscapes at five crowns apiece. I shan't pretend it's otherwise. Yet for you, my dear connoisseur Witcher, that should present not the slightest problem. So do tell which of these is the handiwork of Edward Van der Noob, the master from Maribor. Hmm... Uh, no idea. Hmm. Gotta admit, haven't the foggiest. You needn't have said it. Your crude-looking mug, as you put it, radiates ignorance. I bid you adieu. Well, screw you too. What a jackass. Ah, fuck him. Typical arse cunt. I've grown accustomed. Huh. Esteemed ladies, honorable gentlemen, the auction will begin shortly. Take your places, please. Ah, at long last. Come with me to the fore. I won't see much elseways.
Vimy, listen. Forgot to ask you, how's this auction going to work? They'll bring out three lots to start with. Once they've sold, or not, they'll be an intermission. Horst Basodi will probably appear then. That's when I'll introduce you. Counting on it. In the meantime, have you got a budget? You prepared to beg? Uh, what? Sure, why not? Of course I will. Went to the trouble to sneak me in here. I'd be an ass not to take a stab. Ah, knew the bug would get you. I mean, if there's some good armor and weapons, Esteemed why not? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I hereby open the auction. Ladies and gentlemen, lot number one is a brass figurine from the collection of the infamous Count Romilly. Rumor has it the figure harbors a treasure inside. A rumor one may prove or disprove solely by destroying the beautiful bauble itself. Starting price, quite the bargain at 50 crowns. Any advance? With Master Hilbert at 100. To Countess Mignol, now at 150. Do I hear 200? Might I have an advance? Nah. Going once, twice, going thrice. The Honorable Yaramir enters a bid of 300. Any advance on three? 300 going. Countess Mignol at 350. Oh, we have going a once, dueling twice. bid here. I mean, bidding duel, sorry. Lot number one, the mysterious brass figurine, sold to Countess Mignol. Proceeding now to lot number two. A canvas by the young Novigrad artist Van Roe, Starry Night over the Pontar. Charming piece. Truly a bargain at 20 crowns. Looks like a Ladies Van Gogh painting. Crowns, it's Heads Van Roe. Eh, sure, 20, why not? Yes, the gentleman with the cat eyes. At 20, do I hear 30? 20 going once, going twice, going thrice. Sold Van Rose Starry Night over the Pontar to the gentleman with the cat eyes. If I get a house, why not? Lot number three, ladies and gentlemen. A true rarity, scarce as hen's teeth. Spectacles. A frame of gold, mountain crystal lenses polished by the tiny dexterous hands of the gnome masters. What's the property of the famed hired assassin known as the Professor? Ooh. Starting price of 200 crowns. Anyone tempted? Gwent Maestro Hilbert offers an advance of 50. Do I have three? My, haven't we livened up? 300 from Yaramir Ivanovich Zaitsev. Going once, twice. Screw it. Let's do it. Incredible. With the white haired gentleman now, good folk, at 350 crowns. A generous offer indeed. Any advance? 350 going once, going twice. Sold! Invaluable spectacles to the white-haired gentleman. Exceedingly glad they'll be useful. May they serve you well, sir. Yeah. Oh, the excitement. Hopefully you can if use them. Behind us, we'll go to an intermission. Amenities abound. Please partake. We'll resume shortly. Some time later. Oh, Geralt. Look, Horst Basudi. Come on, before some other cocksuckers steal him. Just, well, don't expect a warm welcome. Never do. Greetings, Horst. Allow me to introduce a dear friend and associate, Geralt of Rivia, who comes uninvited. Yeah, this is good. Exactly. Pretty serious oversight. I see no reason why the faux pas should taint our newfound acquaintance. Acquaintance? I honestly don't know what you think this is, Vagrant. <laughs> Got the distinct impression the two of you started off on the wrong foot. Perhaps we should raise a toast to... What's one like you want from one like me? Right. Let's dispense with the niceties. Maximilian Borsodi's house. Gotta lay my hands on it. Whatever it... What? Where did you learn of it? Gentlemen, no reason to lose our composure. Raise our voices. <laughs> I ask you, where did you learn of it? Whoa, come on now. Where? Uh, let's go with... Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Willing to tell me what it is or not. Guards, escort the Witcher out. 
And he's not to enter, not alone, not hand in hand with Hierarch Hemelfart. Honestly, he asked a question. It were a simple inquiry. One more word, and I shall move my accounts to the competition. Sorry, mate, but... Yeah, don't worry about no it. No reason to trouble the guards, Horst. I'll go willingly. I don't recall giving you a choice in the matter. Kick his swiving mutated ass out. Your swords, Master. Law says we're to return them. Law don't say when, though. So we'll do it, aye. Just after we beat the singing shite out of the honorable gentleman. Mm-hmm. Gathering place for the elite, truly. Come on, lads. Let's loosen our muscles a bit. Well, how long are you gonna make me wait? Ow! There we go. Thanks for my swords. Law says if you see someone hurt, you should summon a medic. Law doesn't say how fast, though, so you can sit tight a while. Seems true what they say. Sword or no sword, a witcher brings gold. Not in the mood for your peasant wisdom. Who the hell are you? If all goes well, dare say I'm your partner. Don't need any partners. Oh, I don't know about that. No chance you'll lay your hands on Max Borsoli's house alone. Hmm. How do you know I was looking for the house? I was of the option. Disguised, of course. That argument on the topic was hard to miss. Get to the point, if you can. To get this house, you need to get into the vault. And there's no way horse to let you in there. Yep, he's the watching. Of his heart. A heist. Don't like that idea one bit. Got any others? Find the herbalist lives near Oxenford. Ask for some yarrow extract. You'll know why you've come. If this is a trap of some sort. We're seeing you. I hope. Okay. Yeah. While we're here, can I put on those glasses? Kill whip. Ha! That looks cool. I'll probably use them for a little bit. Actually, how far away is this place? No, it's actually not that far. You'll choke to death on three pounds of steam. I had enough of this job. One sec. Just want to see if I can get a screenshot out of this.
Actually. Okay, I think that's better. really like taking pictures, so just give me one sec. I think it's better if I go... Yep, I think that's good. Okay, back to the fight! Hammer. Gonna focus on him instead. Okay, one down. There's one more here. Roasted chicken leg. Let's eat some food. One. Whoops. Consume. Oh, probably should repair all my crap. Rather efficient. That all you got to say? I saved your life. Pfft. We'd have disposed of that rabble easily. We? My, aren't we precise? You know what I mean. Now, are you here to trade or not? Hmm? Should you not show me what you got? Let me have a look. Other can be sold for significant sums or dismantled in crafting components. Uh. Hmm.
Yeah, that's okay. Alchemy. Enhanced Blizzard. Sure. Okay. Superior Thunderbolts. Okay. I think that's good. Wouldn't happen to have some Yarrow extract. I do. In the back. Follow me, please. Come. Good. Remains to be seen. Aim to tell me something, I think. So talk. How do I put this? We share a goal. We both need to get into the Bosodi's vault. Both want something that's in there. Why not pool our strengths? Sorry, but what exactly is yours? I have a plan. A plan? I spent the last year working on it. On paper. Time to set it in motion. You one I can count on. Come on. I don't even know your name. What's that matter? Matters because you're clearly hiding something. Not just from me, either. Wouldn't be sitting in a cellar in this shit all otherwise. We've all some stain on our conscience. But I've not asked for your hand in marriage. Just for your help in a heist. We break in. Each take what we need, then go our own ways. Try to trick me anyway, anyhow. You won't go anywhere, you know that? Because I'll take your head off right where it meets your neck. I'm aware of the risks. So, now that you've threatened me and all, are you in? Or are you not? Before we go any further, you even know what Max Brasotti's house is? I know it's in the vault. Didn't answer my question. Neither of you. <clears throat> Willing to help with the heist, or not? Uh, what do you want? The vault. What's in there for you? Something that was stolen from me. Mm, ought I go to the city watch, tell them a crime's been committed, not organize a heist? I've tried. Repeatedly. I see. Cheated by the system, wronged by the world. Doesn't matter. What did they take? List to take a good while. So I'd rather change the subject. You in or not? Alright. I'm not a thief. It's opportunity makes the thief, Witcher. I speak from experience. <sighs> Talk. Twenty Redanian soldiers guard the auction house, day and night. Trolls walk in circles around it, and here, past this corner, in barracks. Brute force is out. Gotta get in quietly. Exactly. Not the simplest thing, though. Main entrance, armored door, windows, dimeridian bars. But not a fortress out there without a weakness. This one's no different. Patience happens to be my weakness, so dispense with the dramatic pauses and talk. <clears throat> Beside the house stands a tower, from which we can enter the attic. We can't hope to enter the tower from the street on account of the patrols, but there's a window 60 feet off the ground. No shutters, no bars. We've got to get up there and sneak across to the auction house, then down the stairs to the cellar. Crack open or blow off the bolt door, and voila! Looks bleak. Looks bleak to me. Tower wall smooth as glass. Don't know about you, but I can't scale that and... And I've not asked you to. Let me finish. For this to work, we need two more accomplices. One to scale the tower, drop us a line. The other to open the vault. A safe cracker, but a demolition specialist. I've already identified some promising candidates. All we have to do is select and recruit the best among them. Also your job. I'd, uh, prefer to remain largely out of sight. Of course. Mm -hmm. Assumed as much given your hood. Anything else? I. Well, that's among the details. Which you will learn just as soon as you declare. Fine. <sighs> 
don't really have any other options. So be it. I'm in. But on one condition. No one dies. That clear? That's the great son of Nilfgaard. How about we knock back around? Talk some mutually beneficial relationship. Rather get to work. What comes first? First, you have to assemble a crew. Then, there's the Redanian patrols to cull a bit. Too many wandering around. We could get noticed. Break-in artists. Tell me about them. Assuming lack of vertigo to be the first requirement. <laughs> Precisely why my favorite's Eveline Gallo. A circus artist known better as the Ermin. Just now performing with her troupe somewhere near Oxenfurt. Her specialities, rhythmic gymnastics. Uh, breaking and entering. Not officially, no, but I've compared the route her troops taken with a list of the most audacious thefts in recent years. A perfect match. Highly doubt that's a coincidence. But if she's reluctant, we've another option in Hugo Hoff, alias Beef Patty, a halfling. Think he's fit? Pudgy face doesn't really match my image of a criminal. You'd be surprised. Hugo's notched up more break-ins than you felled monsters. More importantly, two years past, he nicked the gold-plated cock from the roof of the town hall in Nova. So, the found. Word has it he's holed up in Oxenfurt in a house near the Nova Grand Gate. Be careful. He's modest in size, but apparently wicked dangerous. All right, opening the vault. Who do we have? Let's start with the fact that one of them's a dwarf. Casimir Bassi, native of Mahakam, a specialist in controlled explosions. Folks say he could blow Novigrad to the high heavens with but a pinch of saltpeter. Vault door for him should be a cinch. Ooh, likes explosions. The problem is, Casimir apparently hung up his detonators some time ago. He married, sired some littler ones, and settled in the village of Almas. My plane turned us down. Any options? Quinto, the North's most famed safe cracker. Arrest warrants out on him in Kedwin, Lyria, Angrin, and Kabir. Sadly, he got nabbed a few days back by one Hans of Sidaris, a prick mercenary. I know the man. Slew an arch griffin for him. Mean fiend, pretty much. Hans or the beast? Both, actually. <clears throat> so I'd have to rip one from his cozy home, the other from a cozy cage. Need to think about it. Okay. What's this about calling the patrols? Told you, no one dies. Easy. I don't want anyone's death. Just need some folk to be temporarily indisposed. Spit it out. You've got to approach the garrison's cook. Convince him to spite the soldiers' nosh with something to keep some of them bedridden. One in two, I say. Not to raise suspicions. <sighs> Know the formula for a potion that might do the trick. Then, see? Brew up a bit of that. Hit the town, find the cook, then convince him to do you a favor. I don't know, cast a spell, toss him some coin. You could also use your fists. All right, I'm off. Got a bit to do. As do I. Get it all done, and we'll meet back here. What then? Then, we'll bug a horse up. Down and sideways, all together. All right, sounds like a plan. Hey there. Uh, know any advanced formulae? Maybe something you could teach me? All I know, I learned from Master Gremist of Skelliger. Looking to apprentice yourself in the herbalist trade? Nah, I just want to learn something new. Call it what you will. You must sail across the Great Sea. Find the Isle of Ard Skellig. There, in the sacred grove, 
the learned master Gremist will judge whether you're fit to be his pupil. Hmm. Let me have a look. Whoops. What's this? Wolven Bower. Okay, alchemy. Quest. Cleansing mixture. Okay. So long. And exit. Okay, so let's look at the world map. Okay, safe cracker. And uh, what else? So I guess start the safe cracker. And I think. Sorry, give me one sec. Quest items. Okay, so I've already prepared the cleansing mi mixture, so I think, yeah, I think we'll just stop for, uh, yeah, so I think we'll stop for this video, so I'm just going to say quickly, and we're going to pick up in the next video by assembling our crew for this heist. So I hope you enjoyed watching this edition of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and be sure to check out my other social media accounts in the description below. Until next time, this is Jason from Force Hammer Gaming, signing off.